single station manufacturing sales. But first, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Jenny Verica. My name is Kejia Natalia. My name is Mario Tayongka. My name is Rifki Fauzi Nubraha. My name is Zaki Fitra Herlamba. Please enjoy our video! Hi, Ki! Hi! Hi, Ki! What are you doing here, Ki? I'm studying for the quiz next week. What? The quiz time? Yeah, I don't get the information about the quiz. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for the quiz about single station manufacturing cell. Can you teach us? Of course, you can join with me. How do we go to Reverend? Oh, sure. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Manufacturing cells are a set of machines that are grouped by the products or parts they produce in a lean manufacturing environment. This system is used in the cellular manufacturing concept, which is distinct from the traditional functional manufacturing system in which all similar machines are grouped together. The use of manufacturing cells improves material flow and is especially suited for batch production even in relatively low volumes. Now, we will discuss single station manufacturing cells. Do you ever heard about single station? Single stations constitute the most common manufacturing system in the industry. They operate independent of other workstations in the factory, although their activities are coordinated within the larger production system. Single station manufacturing cells can be managed and automated. They are used for processing and assembly operations. They can be designed for production situation in which all parts or products are identical. For batch production where different parts styles are made in batches or for production in which different parts are made sequentially, not in batch. In a single station, manufacturing cell can be managed and also automated. In the managed cell, we have also four types such as hand tool and portable port tool, manually operated machine, semi-automated machine, and the last is machine cluster. In automated machine cell, consists fully automated machine. To know more detail, can be explained as follow. Single station managed cell. The single station managed cell is the standard model for which is one machine ten by one worker is probably the most widely and the most commonly used for production methods today. It is a basic method used in the company. It is dominant in job shopper production and batch production, and it is not uncommon even in high production. There are many reasons when we use this method. The popular reason is 1. Required the shortest amount of time to implement it. The user company can quickly launch the production of new part or product, while it plans and designs a more automated production method. 2. It requires the least capital investment of our manufacturing system. 3. Technologically, it is an easy system to install and operate. 4. For many situations, particularly for the low quantity, it is reset in the lowest cost per unit produced. 5. 
In general, it's the most flexible manufacturing system with regard to change over from one part or product to style to the next. So, this is one of the example of single station mallet cells. As you can see, behind us, this is one of the example of activity that use hand tools and portable power tools. The manually operated workstation also includes the case of a worker using hand tools. For example, screwdriver and wrench in mechanical assembly. Or portable power tools, for example, powered handheld drill, soldering iron, or arc welding gun. The key factor is that the worker performs the task at one location in the factory. In a manually operated station, the operator controls the machine, loads and unloads the work. A typical processing example is a worker operating a standard machine tool such as an engine light, drill press, or force hammer. The work cycle requires the attention of the worker either continuously or for most of the cycle. For example, the operator might relax temporarily during the cycle when the machine feed is engaged on the lathe or drill press. In a semi-automatic station, the machine is controlled by some form of program, such as a part program that controls a CNC machine tool during a portion of the work cycle. And the worker's function is simply to load and unload the machine each cycle and periodically. CNC is computer numerical control. Machine cluster is a collection of two or more identical or similar set of machines that has a same type but produce more than one kind of product and are serviced by one worker. Single station main cell are the most popular type among other single station manufacturing cell because of their flexibility, cost effectiveness, and relativity fast setup and maintenance characteristic. In single station manufacturing cell, usually machine are operate manually or semi-operatively. Single station automated cells. The single station automated cells consists of a fully automated machine capable of unattended operation for a time period longer than one machine cycle. A worker is not required to be at the machine expect periodically to load and unload parts of otherwise than it. Single station automated cell. They have advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of this system include first, labor cost is reduced compared with the single man station. Second, among automated manufacturing systems, the single station automated cell is the easiest and least expensive system to implement. Third, production rates are generally higher than for a comparable man machine. Fourth, it often represents the first step in implementing an integrated multi-station automated system. But, according to there are also some shortcomings in this system. First, costs are more expensive, both the operation and manufacture. Second, because the system is fully automated, if a failure occurs, the system must stop working unless there is a backup system. Manufacturing station system works automatically. Of course, it requires a lot of components. There are controlling components, actuators, and sensors. First, controlling components function as controllers of the running system. The components are, for example, PLC, microcontroller, microprocessor, and etc. Second, actuator components function as tool that works based on the program that has been made for example components pneumatic hydraulic motor and etc and third sensor components functioning as a sensor both in the processor system these components function as senses of the system the components include sensor switches like sensor cameras and etc
Conclusion, single station manufacturing cells are a basic model because are abundant which is used throughout the industrial production operations, are based on the use of single station manned and automated cells. Both of them have an advantages and disadvantages of each model. Slow, 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 slow. Thank <laughs> you. 